sun. A country tinged number. When the film was in the band called the Arizona Smoke Review, and they were, I think, years ahead of their time in a way, in the, in the sort of late 70s, early 80s, four multi instrumentalists and lead singers. You had uh, Phil, you had Paul Dan, you had Bill Zorn. You had a guy called John Vickers, who also was a completely eccentric banjo player, but could play a lot of stonkers. <laughs> Absolutely crazy guy. Um, um, oh, John Vickers' story. <laughs> no, I really, really no, have to swear horribly to tell the worst John Vickers, so I won't do that. Um, <laughs> I was in a pub with John Vickers in Brighton, and a guy at the bar, naval tattoo. John went up and said, You're in the mall, are you? And John said, Yeah, I said, I was in Submariner. John said, Yeah, you probably heard of me. I said, Why would I have heard of you for? He said, John Vickers. He said, You're John Vickers? I said, Yeah. I said, oh, I can't believe it. And John came back and said, See, you hear that? I said, what was it? He said, um, well, John's job when he was an 18-year-old sailor was to, to, tow, <laughs> to tow airplanes around on the deck of the Art Royal. A big orange tractor that towed the air. And uh, John's job was to uh, safely tow these airplanes out of the way, see them safely folded and down with nine or seven levels of the deck or whatever. And it was a courtesy visit to uh, Barcelona by the fleet, by the rear admirals or something. I've been a military, a naval man since Drake. <laughs> you know, this guy, the proper, the real McCoy. Uh, I, I, I forget the guy's name, but he's obviously a very, very well known. So anyway, in this courtesy visit, which um, would have been about the mid-70s, and um, not that relations between England and Spain, Britain and Spain were difficult, but it was a big deal. It was a big deal. There was the, 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 um, the Queen's ship, well, the, uh, the, uh, the Royal Britannia, and, and the Ark Royal, and all the other things. It was there. actually the first time that a major British warship had made a courtesy visit to Barcelona oh. since the Second World War. Yeah. Yeah. Since probably the, the, since Cadiz party. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it was also John Vickers' 18th birthday. So he thought it would be a good wheeze with his friends to have an aircraft towing tractor race around the deck. <laughs> and uh, uh, the, the, the last 10 feet of the, the deck had been newly painted. So when John's tractor took the bend, it slid gracefully over the thing over the side, <laughs> snapped off the big thing with the British naval fleet, the Red Duster, <laughs> through the netting bit, landed in the sea. John was clinging onto the netting bit, seeing this orange thing disappearing in the bubbles. He got up on deck to see all of his friends running as fast as they could. Surely it was immediately cancelled for everybody on board. They'd been at sea a while and they were looking forward to uh, the courtesy visit to Barcelona and the flesh pots. John Vickers was clapped in irons for protective custody. <laughs> because they were going to throw him down all six flights. And then he was summoned to see Lord High Admiral. I've been a badly shovel, I have been a naval man since 15. And John said it was funny really, because normally he was quite composed. <laughs> <laughs> and then they marched him in. And John, John's recreation of the moment was, uh, Vickers, okay, as you know, we, uh, we're on a courtesy. You fucker! <laughs> Bright and bar, just, you've heard of me. 